This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. We are on a job today in Pleasant Garden. So let's take a look. We've got the skid steer here today and we're gonna be doing a bunch of grading on this side of the project. And we've got the trencher and mini excavator here. So the problem we're having is this basement keeps flooding and so if you look at what's going on here we need to catch these gutters these gutters are all overflowing we need to catch these gutters and bring them across here you can see there's some corrugated pipe in here that's been there for a long time and so the other thing is the grade is sloping just a little bit into the basement there so you can see the, the window well there we can't really build up too much on this side so we're going to have to take this side down a little bit and we're going to grab this gutter while we're back here and probably send it right through the woods you got a creek right here so a great place to send all the water to so we should be able to solve this problem with no worries they want you to run into it yeah when i get over that way just pull it out of the way and then follow all right. There you go. We got this azalea out so the homeowner's looking around where he wants to replant it because i've got the excavator here might as well put it right back in the ground Here we're coming around the corner and take a look at how high up we stubbed out for that gutter with the PVC. And the reason that PVC goes up so high is going to become clear in a little bit because we're going to bring a bunch of dirt in and establish some grade going away from the foundation. Over there you can see the guys are working, they hit a rock right there and the trencher of course can't go through a big rock. So I've got the excavator in the very far background and here in a bit we're going to bring the excavator around and grab that big rock out of there and there's ronald he's getting this corner turned around here so we can head on down the way Here in the front of the house, along with just catching the gutters, we wanted to add in some dirt and get a slope going aggressively away from the house. And so here you can see I'm digging up some hawthorns for the homeowner and I'm, I'm trying, to trying to be nice and gentle with them. He wants to try and replant them. But this whole area in front of the house here, we have to take out all the vegetation and all the mulch and bring in some more dirt and establish our grade away from the foundation so the water slopes and sheds away. All right, I'm gonna come down here with the skid. Try to reshape this a little bit.
This little swale that I'm cutting here is not only giving me dirt to go up against the front of the property, but it's also creating a channel for the driveway to drain to. So a lot of water would hang on the driveway. And this channel you'll see later in the video is gonna be really useful for letting that water go. All right, we are getting our pipe down along the side of the house here. Okay, Fernando. Bueno. Catching this gutter. Perfecto. And we're just heading down to the creek right there. We got a full bubble right there. We got a full bubble right there. That's that my bubble. <laughs> Keep rolling, cuz. And we got a full bubble right there. She's shooting, so. So it looks good. Shoot the creek. You like it? I think we're about finished grading over here, so we're getting ready to seed and straw. So now the water or the land slopes away from everything the way it's supposed to, and we made this little swale going in there. So as part of this job, we're trying to correct some of the water that stands here in the driveway. So again, getting the gutter water out of here is a huge, huge part of that. And so what else we did is we're trying to get this sloping down a little bit here and then on down the way. So we just cut this little swale in here and I really think this is gonna be a huge help. Take a look. So you can see how that's sloping down now, giving that water an escape route, where before it just ponded right here. We just finished feathering this out with the rake and getting some seed on there. So now we're going to straw it up and this will be the end of this section. And the guys are working on the other side of the house. That's phase two, but we're getting a head start on it. He's going to have some trees taken out and so the tree guys aren't here yet so we're supposed to do our work after the tree guys do their work but this front side here we can go ahead and get this done.
You may have noticed in the previous clip that on the left side over there, we replanted those hawthorns, but on the right side here, these are boxwoods, and the homeowner said to ditch these, so we're just ripping them out of here and piling them in the dump truck. And so, same thing on this side, we're getting rid of the vegetation, we're going to put our pipe in, and then we're going to bring some dirt in and create a slope away from the, the foundation. This corner right here behind this holly bush slopes into the foundation and so I really think this was a major offender for the basement flooding. And so the homeowner was not very attached to that holly bush so he said get rid of the holly bush. And so that's what I'm doing here. But critically what we're going to do in a few minutes is we're going to bring in a bunch of dirt and aggressively slope it away from the foundation there. And so a combination of catching the gutter water and creating a positive slope or negative slope however you want to say it away from the foundation so the water sheds away In this clip we're getting our pipe set and we are planning on bringing in some dirt so we can pretty much set it on the surface of the ground as long as we've got our fall going. And you can see right there in the center we're stubbing out for a new gutter. The only one I've got in 22 years. Yep. Oh, if you want to glue that up on me and I'll hold this up a little bit. Yep. I was just about to say how we're going to make sure that's going. It's following. You let or I'll go out and you check it. No, as long as you're happy, I'm happy. I just want to make sure we got it. That's all. I don't want to do it twice. Nope. Alright, ready? Yes, sir. I got a full bubble right there. Yep. Can I help you? Alright, just hold good. it right there. That's good, yep. I got a full bubble. Alright. Alright, that's good. For this side we had to bring in some dirt and so we got our pipe set, we got stubbed out and now we're just filling up along the foundation with extra dirt and trying to establish our slope away from the foundation. This is Sean. We are back out here today and the homeowner got some trees removed. So now the tree people have done their thing, we can get finished up with the drainage system. So. There's our stub out. We put a temporary corrugated on there. And so the problem he's got right here is this roof has no gutters on it. And so it just falls right here. And it turns out it falls and he put the trash can right there and he put a sump pump in there. And that's been working pretty well. And he was quite apologetic about that. But hey, when, when you're in the middle of a rainstorm, whatever works, do it, who cares? So what our plan is today is to take some of this bank off and pile it up against the house here to get this grading away a little bit better. And so hopefully the stump grinders have done their thing and gotten these stumps out of here really well. But that's what we're working on today. I brought in my big excavator for this portion of the job and you can see that's a 36 inch grading bucket right there. And so I had to get a lot of the sawdust and, and, and wood chips, get those thrown over the fence 
and so now we're working in the actual dirt here and I'm just trying to regrade this and create a slope away from the house or away from the foundation and then also create another swale so the rest of the yard flows away Here we are at the back corner of the house and we're catching, but take a look right behind Lynn, you can see some bags of potting soil right by that entry door. And the slope basically goes into the door there into the basement. And so the homeowner had placed those bags of soil there to try and keep the water out. So major grading in the back here. And you can see me in the background there with the excavator. I'm trying to get some of those, that sawdust and those wood chips picked up and out of there trying to scrape and not get too much dirt with them and then I'm just dumping those over the fence in the woods. We had the mini skid steer back out on this job and here you can see I'm just trying to feather everything out after doing some rough grading with the excavator's bucket and so I have to get this grading finished before we can catch the gutters up here on this side of the project and so I'm just finishing up with that and if you've been keeping track I think this is the only job I've had so far that I've had every piece of my equipment out onto it and so each one excels in certain tasks and getting the job done. Hey, Jeremy. We have the full bubble. And that's a good thing, right? It is a great thing for the flow of water downhill and away from the home, therefore saving the homeowner any sort of problem wanna... in the future. <laughs> How far do you want this pipe? We used some rocks that we found while we were digging to make a little retaining wall by that rear entry door. And we decided we wanted to make the retaining wall bigger. And so we found a bunch of rocks that were already on the property. And so all we had to do was just load them up in the mini skid steer and take them down there and build a little retaining wall. So that worked out really, really well. And I was really happy with how it turned out, as was the homeowner. This is what we stubbed out from last time. So remember we brought all that dirt in, packed it down really well, and caught all these gutters on the front. So now we're back. The tree guys did their thing, so we're gonna get this finished up on this side. Can, it, will, can you stand on it? I guess that's where it's going to be, huh? Yes, sir. All right. Can we come up with that any, Jeremy? Looks like it'll swing toward you a little bit. Good? Yeah, that's what. That's it. All right, let's, uh, let me grab this shovel. We'll bed that real quick. Throw some dirt on the side there. Throw some right there where the shovel is. 
There you go. Get that held in place. But that looks perfect, doesn't it? are finished with this job finally so we added some dirt right here and that's sloping away we've got our stub out here we caught this gutter the guy sent this pipe down through here we caught this gutter we went extra deep here because the customer may want, may want to put a retaining wall in here and there's our outfall out in the woods so this was also a huge problem here. So we packed a bunch of dirt in there and sloped it down. And then these were some rocks that were on site here. So we went ahead and did this little retaining wall. So that was kind of above and beyond, but they were here. We needed something here, so I was very happy to get that done. And also, crucially, we cut this all down because this was all, it would just build up right here and then just flow in there. We stubbed out for another gutter downspout. We caught this gutter and I talked him into stubbing out for here because if you take a look here, any water that lands there has to make its way all the way around, all the way around to this gutter. And so he can add a downspout there if he wants to and it'll be good to go. And there's our outfall there. So. I'd say he's gonna be in good shape here. I told him he should expect over 99% effectiveness from his basement flooding. They had to move out of the basement and everything. So it's been a, a huge battle for him. So I'm excited to be finished with this project and can't wait to get back here during the rain and see how it does. Oh, this is a first. Sticking the pipe through the ramps. This is my new trenching bucket. There's a video coming out on that. I basically welded these arms or these ears onto it and the reason I brought it is he wanted a couple of azaleas moved so I dug them out and moved them for him so this is a really cool cool guy to work with so I was happy to get that done too what's going on boss? not much I am back on this job it's been <clears throat> probably at least a good month or so but we finally got some rain going on this morning. So the front ditch here, he's gonna get me to muck this out, but that's actually flowing where it wasn't before. So you can see there's still a bunch of puddling going on here. We're trying to figure out how to get rid of that. There's also a bunch of puddling going on there. But look here, this was all a pond before, and now the water's running right down here. So it, we graded all this out, it's running away now.
So all that surface water is running down here. The gutter water is coming out right there. So that's the front and this side of the house. The other one is over there. <clears throat> So I've talked to the homeowner a couple times since we put this system in and he's been very, very happy with what's been happening. So uh, he brought in a bunch of mulch to cover up the new dirt that we brought in and he kind of redid this little wall right here. He was going to do that to his liking. And so we pulled a couple shrubs out here too for him. So now... <clears throat> He wants to talk to me about getting this corrected. So we're probably gonna bring in some dirt and try to build this area up a little bit, but it's definitely tricky over here. So as far as his basement goes though, they are moving back into the basement and haven't had any problems since we put in the system. So that's really good news. There's the creek behind my customer's house and you can see just how high it is, how much rain we've had overnight here. So the new drainage system is working to keep that thing full. <laughs> <laughs> 